All right, guys, I just got done doing part one of a gear and clothing I'm going to be taking. It's a, about a five-day hunt, but it's going to be a mix of a little bit of truck camping, uh, maybe backpacking in for a night or two. So I'm taking a, a wide variety of stuff uh, just to be prepared. Uh, Clothing-wise, the highs have been in the 50s and 60s recently. It's been in the 70s today, yesterday, but it's supposed to drop and be high like 50, 60 so I'm assuming it's going to be in the 50, so I'm not going to go too crazy on clothing, but uh, I definitely want to be prepared if it were to get cold. So first thing is I'm going to be taking, these are from Black Ovis. This is their Merino wool base layers. Uh, I absolutely love them, and the price of them is uh, very affordable. So if you go to blackovis.com and just look up their merino. They got a whole a nice variety of merino stuff. <clears throat> so I'll be taking those as base layers. I doubt that I'm going to be taking them on the backpack hunt uh, unless something happens and the weather seems to dramatically change. But this I take with me all the time. This is just a thin black. It's from BlackOvis.com again. Uh, a merino wool beanie, and it's super lightweight. It packs down real small. I can actually I fit this into my bino harness. So. Uh, yeah, and then if it gets a little windy or a little bit of a chill, this helps. And it also makes a great liner for the hat that I would wear if I, you know, need the extra warmth. But I'll be taking that. So I'm going to take the puffy. I'm probably not going to need the puffy. I'm willing to bet I'm not going to need this puffy. Uh, this is the Kafara Lost Park Parka. This is, this is my cold, cold, cold weather go-to coat. Very durable, very lightweight. Packs down pretty good for the actual size. But uh, I'm going to take it, but I doubt I'm going to use it. So <clears throat> for Beanie, I'm taking a Sitka. This is the Windstopper. I believe it's what, yeah, Windstopper. Uh, great Beanie. I've only worn it one morning so far. Uh, like I said, if you use the Black Ovis Merino Beanie, uh, and then you slide this over top, it's just, it's, it's overkill kind of, uh, for probably for a lot of people. But if you get cold ears, your head gets cold, or it's a really windy, cold day, uh, you can do that, but all in all, this this hat's great. So I'm going to be taking that with me. Uh, I got. I'm going to try out these. These are Black Diamond. They're. Uh, I can't remember what series they were. Gators, but I'm going to try these out. These the Gore-Tex Gators. They seem to be very well built. Uh, a little bit higher. So I, I'm new to Gators. I've never used them before. But after hunting a couple days here in North Idaho. Uh, the morning, everything I was soaking wet from you know the knee down, actually probably the waist down, and which caused the inside of my boots to get wet. My socks were wet. I'm pretty confident it wasn't the boot leaking. Uh, I think it was just all coming down my leg. But those would have been great to have. So I got to pick those up at REI, and I'm gonna try them out. And then, so my clothing for this year, I went with Sitka gear. Uh, there was another company I was going to try out, but I just couldn't get the stuff to fit me right. It just uh, Things just didn't fit too comfortably. So uh, I had it down between trying Sitka and First Light, and to me it doesn't really matter. Uh, I think they're both great companies. I don't have a lot of experience with First Light clothing, uh, but I, I like who they are. I like the company. I like the patterns. They have the same kind of clothing. The only reason I went with Sitka is because it was easier accessible for me to try on. And Sitka, they have a lot more, they have whitetail, they have waterfowl hunting, they have a lot more. But once again, if you're trying to debate between Sitka or First Light, I, I don't I think it's just your personal preference. I don't think one's really better than the other. Like you may love this jacket and not like this, the uh, First Light one, the comparable to this, but you might like the First Light pants and not like the Sitka pants or whatever it may be. But I just went for it with them because I needed them. It was kind of a hurry, and uh, it was accessible. So this is their puffy. I love the coat. Fits me very well. Nice hood on it. Uh, it does have some pockets on the side. Zip up. Uh, this is kind of like a water resistant type of material because it was raining pretty good on me, and I just didn't feel like uh, pulling out my rain gear. And uh, this worked really well, and it does pack down very, very small. So I could fit this and my rain jacket on one side of the fulcrum, but I'll be taking that with me. Pants, uh, these are the Timberline pants. Uh, so far I'm very happy with these. Charles knee pads, they're nice, but I'm not used to having them there. 
so it's just sometimes they like kind of bother me but uh when i do like there's many a times i've dropped down to my knees whatever and it's great that i had them but so far they're working out well so i'm gonna be taking those with me uh here's just their basic t-shirt Sitka t-shirt and i'm going with this is i think i don't th i think this was their medium three quarter zip or quarter zip yeah but i don't remember i wish they would really if, if anybody hears this from the, the clothing manufacturer it, it, it really wouldn't cost you much to freaking stamp the clothing and say what it is or put it on a tag or something just so we know exactly what this is but uh long sleeve quarter zip i think it's a medium i don't remember the technical name for it but this with the t-shirt underneath has been basically all i've been wearing and uh it works great and then if it gets too cold i can put the puffy on if it gets too hot i unzip this first maybe put the sleeves up a little bit and if it's still too warm i can take it off and have the t-shirt underneath so and then i'm taking my rain gear once again i don't remember what this is called I haven't used these yet uh if this is either the downpour or i, I don't remember anyway they were both right around the $500 mark. That's crazy, I think, for rain gear, but I moved to North Idaho and I wanted good rain gear. So everybody talks that this stuff is great. It's very heavy duty. It's not the most packable stuff. It does pack down, but it is a heavier, but if I'm gonna spend 300 and some dollars on a coat, or four hundred dollars on the coat that is good but not I might as well spend the 500 bucks uh it's known to get a lot of rain here so i wanted to make sure i had good stuff so i will definitely be taking my rain here with me uh and i think that's about it for clothing so yeah so what was sitka next year could be whoever Depends. If I don't get to hunt much this year, I might be using this stuff again. It don't matter to me. But anyway, if you have any questions, just let me know. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks.